I just got scammed for one of the first times in quite a long time, and honestly, I'm fucking pissed off right now. But let's go back to like almost two hours ago when I was pretty happy to go get this deal on Facebook Marketplace. I'm in the whip right now. I got 30 bucks, and I'm on my way to go pick up our very first local deal in this video. I'm pretty excited about it. I found it last night. Okay, I got the deal, and all the deals in this episode have been bought on eBay or like Amazon. And that's not to say I haven't been checking my Facebook marketplace. It's just been really like slow, but this deal was definitely worth it. As I said, I paid $30, and I got an ASRock B450 motherboard. So yeah, this was definitely worth it. Well, if it works. Honestly, I don't know why I'm making this video. I kind of just wanted to vent because like I said, I'm, I'm pissed off, man. I, I don't normally get scammed because I'm pretty safe about it. One, I either get like proof video that the part works or I meet up at their address. And I did in this situation and I've always told myself, okay, if they give me their address, I'll be fine. But now I have his address and he's also blocked me now on Facebook Messenger. But like, what do I even do with his address? I mean, like, what am I going to do? Pull up and shoot him over 30 bucks, man? Like, I don't know. Yeah, let me give you a little more backstory. This was an ASRock B450 posted for 30 bucks. I messaged him last night, actually, picked it up today. And actually, when I got there, I noticed a slight smell. If you guys have ever smelt this, you will smell it anywhere. Say a power supply pops or a capacitor pops on a motherboard or GPU has like a specific burning smell and you will always smell it once you smell it. When I got inside his house, yes, it was very dirty, I'm gonna be honest. And I smelt that smell. But then it went away very quickly. So I was kind of like, okay, man, you know, I don't know. I just wasn't fully thinking, but that was my sign right there to not buy it. And I completely avoided it. So honestly, I mean, maybe I deserve to get scammed. Ah, dude, like, so yeah, I got the motherboard home, got it on a little test bench. Yeah, I got the motherboard on a little test bench. The specs don't matter. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And it wasn't posting. Oh boy. Ah. It's not working. And then the guy, I messaged him and he just kept trying to say it's a compatibility issue and was like, yeah, dude, you gotta check the website. And I'm just thinking, bro, are you dumb? Like, dude, I know the CPU's compatible, but I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. So I went through the stupid links, checked ASRock's website, and yeah, it was compatible. And then he kept trying to say, yeah, dude, the RAM isn't compatible. So, you know, I did another little stupid check, checked the RAM, and it was compatible, and it was still not booting up. So I swapped the parts over to a completely different B450 motherboard, and they booted up just like that. Well, well, as you can see, I got a post, but it's on a completely different motherboard. I had this other B450 that I bought on eBay, but it was a bundle deal with the CPU. CPU, so I don't want to split it up, but all of the parts work on this board, but that ASRock board, nothing. I literally tried like three different RAM kits, none of them work, and all the parts are working perfectly fine on this one. So James, that's the name of the guy that sold the motherboard to me. He keeps trying to say it's a compatibility issue. Like bro, it's AM4, of course the CPU's compatible, it's working on another board. So I messaged him, I was like, yo man, I did this and now it's working, Something, this motherboard's broken, you know, like what can we do? And he just kept saying like, it was working, it was working, it was working. And keep in mind, when I picked it up, he told me he had it running eight months ago. So he's not even 100% sure if it was still working when he sold it to me. Anyways, long story short, I'll put the messages up on screen, but he got really aggressive, man. Just like, was just cussing me out basically. And that's how you just know, like, they're a scum. They're a piece of trash and they freaking scammed you and they freaking knew it. So that's why they get aggressive. It's almost like when you tell someone they're crazy and they're like, I'm not fucking crazy. Yeah, you are, bro. And yeah, you scammed me. And his name's James. James, you're a piece of shit, man. You're honestly lucky that I'm grown up now and not just 14 years old or else I'd leak your freaking address and I wouldn't care about it. Honestly, I should though. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna leak his address. Anyways, I kind of feel a bit better talking about it. I only got scammed out 30 bucks. I mean, it does suck. 30 bucks is still 30 bucks at the end of the freaking day. But oh well, man. Like, oh well. <laughs> Like I said, I don't know why I made this video. I just wanted to talk to you. If you found this helpful, maybe you got a little tip from it. Like when you smell a little burning smell on a part, don't buy it, dude. Like, ah, dude, I'm an idiot, man. I literally... <sighs> All right, well, you guys have a good day. I'll see you Sunday for a new video.